sports day. Oh, yes. Where's that, Dennis? Fresh air, no lessons, and a million ways to make menacing mayhem. Whoopee cushions, Curly. <laughs> Let the games begin. She'll love Sports Day too. I think Pie Face needs some help choosing a discus. Go, Nasha! Nasha boy! Oh, thanks, then. So, wind from the east, medium density cross. Come on, Pie Face! We haven't got all day! I'm lucky. Nice throw, Pie Face. Oh, sometimes you're just in the zone. <coughs> Dash! Dash! Oh, we're too late to menace this race. Patience, Curly. Three, two, one. That's my frog. Nash, nash, nash. <laughs> Toad. And the gold medal for menacing goes to... Cerys. Exactly. Oh. You have ruined sports day. Dennis, you've disgraced the school. Sir, it's clear he knows nothing about sportsmanship, unlike me. You're right. Walter, my boy, why don't you teach Dennis about discipline in the three-legged race? Genius idea, Headmaster. Me? Strapped to him? No way! <laughs> you come back here, Dennis! <laughs> come back here! Stop following me! Get off my way! Oh, I'd better tidy this up. Someone could trip over it. <laughs> Too late. Oh. oh, well, I've just had like a crazy thought. What about using Sergeant Slipper's handcuffs for the three legged race? What a good idea. I've been waiting ages to get these on, Dennis. Hang on a minute. Huh? Shall I look after the key for you, Sergeant? I'm going to win this race, so keep up. Oh, your shoelace is untied, Walter. Is it? Oh. <coughs> oh! <laughs> The winner is me! What? No, I did all the work. You let go my oh, I my the noise! Let go! You, that was your fault! Walter, you were a shining example to Dennis. Well, I'm always keen to help the school where I can. Uh, may we now consider this lesson finished? Get me out of this! I seem to have lost the key. What? Well, where did you last have it? Oh, over there, I think. Or maybe it was over there. Or there. Oh, dear. Where's the key, Angel Face? Not telling. I'll teach you to put a frog in my sack. Excuse me, what did I do? You laughed. 
Well, it was quite funny. Thanks, Walter. Oh, be quiet, Dennis. Well, let's see how funny you find this. Maybe I'll remember where the key is if the two of you get me, um, an ice drop flower from right at the top of Mount Beagle. That's miles away. Better get a move on then, hadn't you? This way! Nash! <laughs> Ow! Stupid animal! Don't talk about Nasha like that. I wasn't talking about Nasha. Oh, that's it! I've had enough. Nasha, chew my leg off. <laughs> you two have got to work together. Nasha, give them a rhythm. Nash! 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 Run, Walter! Run! Come back here, you young girl! Nash! 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 Why, you little one girl! You old dick! You done a shot! We can slow down now, Dennis! Menaces don't know the meaning of slow! <laughs> hey, nice timing, you two. A nice emergency break-in. Yep, uh, works every time. We've just got to climb the mountain. How hard could it be? <laughs> oh, I love a good nature ramble. This should be fun. Pie face, Curly, stay here. If I don't make it back, promise me you'll keep on menacing this town. OK, Nasha, let's do this. Nash! Oh, no, Dennis. This time we do it my way. <laughs> and if you look to your left, you'll see the lesser spotted pine tree. And... Oh, what's that? We work together. Truce? <laughs> Truce. Steady. <laughs> there it is. The ice drop flower. We made it. <laughs> oh, where is that key? Now, don't you worry, Angel Face. It'll pop up. We did it! Almost fell off a mountain, but we did it! Oh, well, a deal's a deal. Oops! Oh, I found it! Oh, it was round my neck all the time. Oh, oh well done, Angel Face. What? You're not seriously falling for that? Walter, you picked up Dennis's bad habits. Come on, let's get you uncuffed before there's any more damage. At last! <laughs> Back to normal. Yes! Half a trophy's better than none. Ah, it's a pity Angel Face got away scot free. As usual. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Read it. Ah! All right, class, you have five minutes to finish today's experiment. 
with my personal Junior Junior Slab Kit. That should present no problem, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Creature, my beak is broken. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, then pair up with Walter, Dennis. What? Oh, surely you two can work together for five minutes. <laughs> Doc! We've had to evacuate the entire school because of the mm, smell. Do you have anything to say for yourselves for ruining Mrs. Creature's experiment? Yes, Headmaster. It was all his fault. I told you not to touch the beaker when the liquid oozes. You have zero understanding of slime production. What's there to understand? Puerile pranks, tawdry tricks, all child's play. Child's play? Menacing takes skill and precision timing. You couldn't menace a dead fish. I could do that in my sleep. Whereas you wouldn't last one afternoon completing my to-do list. What? Measuring the straightness of my tie with a ruler? Yeah, really hard, Walter. I do more than that. I... Boys, boys, boys. It seems we have here a classic lack of mutual understanding. But I have the perfect solution. You will each spend this afternoon living each other's lives. <laughs> I've spoken to your parents and it's agreed. This afternoon you will live according to the habits and rules of the other's household. <laughs> Stop! Swap! Huh? I'll explain later, Nasha. It's complicated. Here is Walter's jam-packed schedule for this afternoon. Jingle Composer Club. Toothpick Modeler's Symposium with the Colonel. Competitive Bird Watching. Swimming Pool Mathletics. Pet Grooming. <laughs> Where do you keep your garden shears? <laughs> Dennis's schedule? <laughs> For what? His after-school activities. Uh, he doesn't exactly have a schedule. He, he lives in the moment. <laughs> this will be a breeze, just as I thought. <laughs> I do hope Dennis is coping. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you've studied your chords. Stand straight, shoulders back, no slouching! <laughs> now, after me, I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Um, usually Dennis just says something like, Rock! Rock? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Bird watching? Huh. Yeah. Let's liven this up, Nasha. Snake! Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, this isn't the sort of thing we do with Dennis, Walter. <laughs> but that is. <laughs> So, this is a toothpick modeler's symposium. Hmm. Oh. Play with B can't be that hard. I don't know how much more of this I can take. What's swimming pool mathletics anyway? Three times seven is twenty-one. Four times seven is twenty-eight. Five times seven, Dennis. Oh, I know this one. Cannonball! <laughs> so far, you're not doing very well at being Walter, Dennis. I knew you'd find my life too hard. Meanwhile, I'm blitzing yours. Treehouse tidied, a study regime for B. I've even introduced the din makers to the principles of classical harmony. That's not being a menace, Walter. That sounds like things you do. Epic fail. Boys, you have one more chance to live each other's life before the day is done, or... 
I'll pay you up in every class until the term ends. Seventeen times thirty-two is five hundred and forty-four. Eighteen times thirty-two is five hundred and seventy-six. Nineteen times thirty-two is... Baby. OK, time for plan D, G and W. We need to help each other if we're going to get through to Tester's experiment. Very well. Listen carefully. After swimming pool mathletics, it's bath time. Make sure you use plenty of soap. Then it's afternoon tea. This is very important. You must use the scone fork. It's second from the right. Do not use the Battenberg fork. OK, but Walter, you've got to think like a menace. Remember, fun is always just around the corner. Come, Claudius. We have menacing to attend to. And it's bath time for you and me. <laughs> Lots of soap, eh? Low setting, I think. <laughs> Today with some menacing equipment. Ooh. 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 <sighs> right, Nasha. All I have to do is get through the scone test, and life goes back to normal. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> um, uh... mm -hmm. He certainly looks. And smells the part. Oh! Not the Battenberg fork! Uh, use the second one! The second one! Ha. Mm -hmm. sure. Just goes to show you can complete a successful experiment without any mischief. A plus for you, Dennis. Yes! But Walter still has to pass his test. Oh, uh, Walter excels at everything he does. <laughs> He'll be just fine, I assure you. I'm not so sure about that. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> on this device. <coughs> Too late, anyway. Postman's way out of range now. Strangely quiet today. Oh, no! I told you not to waste time arranging the pranks according to the Dewey Decimal System. But they need it sorted out. I failed. Maybe not. <gasps> no! I, well, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> But I could. <laughs> Do it, Claudius. Walter. What are you doing, Walter? Being Dennis, sir. Mm, yes, I, I suppose you are. Well, well done. Very good. <laughs> so, what have you uh, learned today, Walter? Well, that having no rules can be somewhat liberating. And you, Dennis? Ah, well, I learned that, um, uh, that everyone needs a bath sometimes. <laughs> Yes, I suppose they do. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. You have successfully completed today's experiment. <laughs> Would you care to join us for afternoon tea, Headmaster? Thank you, Walter. I never say no to a scone. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Who knew bath time could be so much fun? Follow me. Summer holidays.
holidays. This is going to be the best day ever. <laughs> what are we going to do, Dennis? <laughs> A. Break the world decibel record with the din makers. B. Put bubble bath in the swimming pool. Or C. Water bomb Walter with super sticky blackcurrant squash. My magnum opus is finished. What I did in my summer holidays. I devoted my entire summer to writing this essay. Option, option C. Option D. I mean, what, what you said. Nash, nash, nash. School homework? Nah. Summer holidays are for fun. <laughs> Not you as well. Ah, oh, sorry, Dennis. I've written a daily online blog about my holiday. I've gotten over a hundred hits on my site. <laughs> if I write down everything I've done this summer, it'll be a signed confession of all my pranks. <laughs> well, you are the prank master general, Dennis. Yeah, you're Lord Pranky. Liz, come down now. It's time to do your repair job on the Colonel's fence. <laughs> <laughs> Day of freedom! So it's your last chance to put things right. I'm off fishing. I can't help the Colonel. I I've got homework. Well, you better get moving then. Can't stop bee starting nursery today. Oh, how many's that now? That would be number 12. <laughs> B, it's the last one on the list. It's this nursery or none at all. But I just want one more day of fun. Then you'll just have to make it fun. Brilliant idea, Mum. <laughs> Dennis, reporting for duty. <laughs> Ready to take your punishment, cadet? If I must. That's <laughs> the spirit. Face the firing squad with a smile. Ah, here we are. <laughs> Double strength this time, and I want them all moved over there. Every last post. And I don't mean played on the bugle. Ha ha ha. It's a little military joke. No, uh, never mind. <laughs> yes, my bugling isn't what it used to be. <laughs> ah, yes, mate, it's a lovely big pile of sticks. <laughs> Extremely. Heavy sticks. Enthusiasts. Jane from Tippington Shelley. How many of these do you reckon you could nash? <laughs> now remember, be good. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be just fine. Please don't worry about B. It's not B I'm worried about. <laughs> Can't take the pace, eh? You'll think twice before you drive a tank into enemy territory again. Good job, Nasha. Now, what about the rest of them? <laughs> Uh, ammunition. Can't leave stuff on the pavement. It's a public health thingy. <clears throat> Keep it moving now. A nice neat pile. Hey, what's what in there? You! Ow! <laughs> you underestimate your adversary, young fellow, me lad. I've got my eye on you. And I'm awarding myself a medal for foiling petty treason. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, time for elevenses, I think. Continue. Post haste. Ha ha ha! No, nothing. Uh, no sense of humour, the young. Mm. Oh. Dash, dash, dash. Roo, back. <laughs> right, team. Ready to pull? And. Uh oh. <laughs> Sergeant Tinkle, man down, man down. No. My school home.
homework essay, My Summer of Good Deeds. What a thoughtful gesture. Ooh, ooh pink sprinkles. I've been inspired by your military heroism to help others. Pah, help yourself more like. Oh, thank you, Dennis. I will. <coughs> hard work makes you hungry, eh, Dennis? Angel Face, how about you do some hard work and help me with these? Oh, well, I'd love to, Dennis, but that wouldn't be helping you learn from your mistakes, would it? <coughs> ah, you're a credit to the community. Oh, I've had enough of this. It's time for Plan D and G. Uh, where is G, anyway? Nasha? Nasha? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I would like to thank my literary assistants, Bertie and Dudley. My homework! Don't worry, Walter. I haven't done mine either. to part 27 of your essay this afternoon. Well, Dennis, where is your homework? <laughs> My homework? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dennis, where is your homework? Oh, my homework. It's out there. <laughs> Are my missing timbers! Colonel, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, uh, donated by the Colonel? But, but this is an outrage! An outrage that we haven't celebrated our local hero sooner. Angelface spoke about you so movingly in her What I Did This Summer essay. Is there no end to this girl's kindness? No! No end. In fact, she's helping me fix your fence later, aren't you, Angel Face? Of course I am, Dennis. Well, in that case, Ted Shut, time to take up my post at that fort. Ha ha ha. Post, you see. Post? No, oh, forget it. Prepare to storm the battlements. Best first day of school ever! <laughs> I reckon the will. He's got his face on it. Shh! It's starting. Tomorrow, Beano Town elects its next mayor to show why I deserve your vote 
I've got you all a present. A new waxwork of the most handsome, hard-working and, above all, humble man in Beano Town. Me! <laughs> oh. This represents my new approach to menacing. Vote for me and I'll make Beano Town a prank-free zone. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. that he loses the vote tomorrow. And I know how. Hmm. Lunchtime. Ha-ha. <laughs> huh? Right. Time to make that waxwork work for us. Nasha, it's snack time. Yes. Mm, looks delicious. <laughs> oh, oh, you can't move in this town for menaces. Hey, come back with my lunch. Sure you're up for this, Payface? Oh, yeah. I'm world champion at standing still and doing nothing. Hi! <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Mescrimp's orders to protect this priceless work of art from any more menacing pranks. Well, he needn't worry. Nothing gets past old Slipper. Nash, nash! Time to show the town my new approach to menacing. <laughs> Careful now, Mrs. McGinty. Let me help you across the road. Ah, oh, my toe! I don't believe it! Did you see who that was? I know. <laughs> Father Christmas at this time of year. What? Oh, no, it was Mayor Scrimp! <laughs> <laughs> the sheet, lads. Uh, pie face. Disguised as a ghost. <laughs> Very funny. You just keep away from this waxwork. I have to make sure this vote runs smoothly. <laughs> nice one, pie face. You can stop doing the pose now. No, I can't. Oh, Sounds like scripts are gonna. Come on, we don't want to miss this. Right, all of you, take it easy. Back up, back up. What? What are you all on about? I haven't done anything. A likely story. We all saw you. We didn't think a new approach to menacing meant you'd be doing the menacing. You're not fit to be mayor. So, none of us will be voting for you. Yes! Now to get our skateboards back. Which leaves us one tiny question. Who is going to be the new mayor? Surely you're the obvious choice, Father. Oh, no, no. I couldn't possibly... N oh, very well. As you all insist, I accept. <laughs> all those in favour? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh... Vote carried. May I present to you the new mayor of Beano Town. Oh! 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 My first act as mayor is to end Scrimp's pan on skateboards. Oh, maybe he's not so bad after all. And replace it with a ban on skateboards, bicycles, catapults, water pistols, water bombs, hand buzzers, and anything else that may be used by a menace. Oh, 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 oh. I'm in heaven. Yeah, he 
It's not so bad. It's worse! Wiki Wiki Assistant uh, Junior Apprentice Parky Scrimp. Sorry, sir. Oh. All our gear gone. Scrimp doesn't seem so bad now. Let's scrimp stick to picking litter. It takes a man like my dad to deal with rubbish like you. What? You're nothing without your pranking equipment. Oh, yeah? A real menace can make a prank out of anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Slow <laughs> down, Dennis. That does it. Little pickers are banned. Uh, re really? Are you, are you sure? Absolutely. Anything that can be used for anything gets banned. Uh, okay. You heard the man. Hand him over. Yeah, right. Anything, eh? <laughs> Time for Plan D and G. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely mints for you, Mrs. McGinty. Now, where are my paper bags? Again with the Mrs. McGinty. <laughs> ah, what happened? Did my black pudding explode again? <laughs> I saw that. Paper bags are now banned. <laughs> I'll we'll just find something else to use. Oh. Still a stinky smell. Don't worry, miss. We'll shift it. They did what? Well, there's only one sensible response to that, and that's to ban hair dryers. Oh! Da 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 da! <laughs> My favourite colour. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did it! 1730 hours. Time for your daily watering. What the? Right. From now on, watering cans are banned, and so is paint. Hang on just a second. How's a chap to keep his garden spruce if he can't water it? Look, I realise these bans are causing a few problems. A few? With our paper bags, no one's buying any meat. Look at the state of my hair. I can't fix it without a hairdryer. Just give me a little more time. I I've almost beaten those menaces. Oh, yeah? Wanna bet? Right, gang, this is the big one. Dirty socks? Check. Line of underpants? Check. Ultimate weapon? Let's see Walter's dad try and ban this one. Time for Operation Underpants. Charge! Stand firm. We can take anything they throw at us. Except sticky socks. Socks are banned. Everybody calm down. There's no need to... Uh, I can't see. Tactical withdrawal. Follow me. No, you're causing chaos. We were just standing here. Time for the pants de resistance. One of Baby B's use nappies. <laughs> that does it. As of now, all forms of underwear are banned. What? Don't be ridiculous. We were better off with scrimp. Sergeant Slipper, do something. Yeah, I intend to. I suggest yesterday's vote be overruled and Scrimp gets his old job back. All in favour? Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, sir, but nobody's confiscating my underpants. Oh. As your new mayor, I hereby ban all bans. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, including the one on skateboards. Hmm. Right, but don't think I'm going soft. Let me remind you the sort of man you're dealing with. Uh, uh, no, sir. Please hang on. <laughs> yep, it's exactly like you. When there's menaces about, it loses its head. <laughs> <laughs> no. Citizens of 
of Earth, having braved the chill depths of space, meteor showers, asteroids, canine astromut cutter likes nothing more than a bowl of lumpy chunks. Okay, that's a wrap. This commercial is in the can. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll be. Well, I was hoping you'd visit my humble shop. It's truly an honor, sir. Eh? Please, accept this bone for being the greatest dog in the world. Nash! <laughs> not just this bone, no, sir. A hero like you can have anything in the shop. Yeah. <gasps> and in your honor, <laughs> my sausages I give to you, my chops to fill your face, my fillets fill your rumbling tum. Brave dog who's been to space. Oh, no, Asher, not you. Him. Please, sir, accept this bone for being the greatest dog in the world. <laughs> Look out! Huh? The moon's coming! <laughs> School's out, Nasha! Time for a kickabout! Nash, Nash, Nash! Nah! Nash! It's a freebie! Everyone got one to celebrate Cutter's visit! <laughs> In honor of his amazing travels, Astromat Cutter will receive the Beano Town Collar of Honor later this afternoon. <laughs> 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 Apparently, Cutter is the greatest dog in the universe because he's been up in space. <laughs> Second best, maybe. He's nothing compared to you, Nasha. <laughs> Nasha? <laughs> Nasha! Awarding myself a medal. Ah. Hey, Garden. your laces are undone. Huh? Hmm. All the planets are aligned. Well, the moons at least. Go, Nasha! <laughs> huh? I've exposed my flank and I haven't been attacked. Something's definitely not right here. We've got an emergency. Look! <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Oh, Nash has lost his menacing mojo. Oh, I'd hate to think of Paul lying around not up to his usual tricks. Oh. Uh, uh, we've got to find something to kickstart Nash's menace hard drive. But what, Dennis? I mean, that's a pretty big hard drive. But it'll have to be something out of this world. <gasps> Curly, you are a genius. <laughs> T-P-Q! What? I thought we'd just say random letters. Are we not? <laughs> yeah. Look! A text message from the space agency Ganassa, Nasha, for you! Nash? It's an emergency situation! They need your help, Nasha! <laughs> this is space, and this is a spaceship piloted by Cutter. 
You know he went to the moon, right? Ah, smash. His mission was to bring back moon rocks, space dust, and um, stuff like that. But Cutter left something behind. That's right. He left a half-eaten sausage in a moon crater. Huh? It was grabbed by the Blurps, an alien race who can't believe we Earthlings throw away such treats as sausages. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The Blurps are eyeing the Earth's vast sausage reserves. They're about to invade. There's only one dog brave enough and skillful enough to save the world's sausages. Nasha, you have to stop the Blurps invading. I give you the Starship Enterprise. Huh? Nasha, Planet Earth depends on you. Ready for takeoff in five, four, three, two, one! NASA! Destroy the Earth, the deadliest warship in the Blurp Laser Cannon Attack Fleet. <laughs> we want your bangers, salami, chorizo, and hot dogs. Also, chipolatas, which are nice. <laughs> and them over now, or face immediate sausage extermination. <laughs> <laughs> Extra ferocious as requested. Can uh, can someone just sign for this? Perfect 10 for D&G. 
mornings are for medicine, eh, Nasha? Nash! <laughs> Not this morning, Dennis. I'm off to the library. You're in charge till Gran gets here, so behave. No TV and no disasters. Reno Town was plagued by the volcano of crispy, crunchy doom. Everybody ran in terror from the lava, only to be overtaken by the milk tsunami. <laughs> disasters? Check. Now for TV. How'd you like the sofa, Nasha? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when Gran will get here. We interrupt this program with a news flash. A tiger has escaped from Beano Town Zoo. Earlier, I spoke to Sergeant Slipper, who's on the scene. Ah, well, we do have the matter under control, of course. So do you know where the tiger is, Sergeant? Uh, no. No, not exactly. But Beano Town's best animal tracker, Parky Bowles, is on the case. <laughs> And how do you intend to trap the tiger, Mr. Bowles? Uh, well, a trapper never tells his secrets. So mind your own business. Sergeant Slipper, do you have any advice for our viewers whilst this animal is at large? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm ordering Beano Town to be in immediate lockdown. This tiger is dangerous. Everyone must stay indoors. I repeat, stay indoors. Everyone must stay indoors. Stay indoors, eh, Nasha? Nash! Gran. Nash! Nash! <laughs> All right, kids, come watch the Grandmeister. I'm on the last level of Golden Belt and I will not rest until I've won. Gran, there's a tiger on the loose and me and Nasha are going to catch it today. We'll be heroes. That's nice, Dennis. I don't you, but I'm babysitting. I... <laughs> All clear. Stay alert, Nasha. The tiger could be anywhere. Nash! Nasha! Nasha! Go, go, go! Ah, tiger! Hey? Eh? You! Don't you know there's a dangerous animal on the loose? Yes, and he's ready to catch a tiger. Huh. You couldn't catch a cold. Of course, tracking animals in the wild comes naturally to a military man like myself. <laughs> At ease, men. That is a lockdown. And another medal for bravery in the field for me. There are three essential stages of tiger stalking, track, beat, and capture. However, I shall be deploying Operation Hedgehog Defense. Don't tigers eat hedgehogs? Yes, yes, I suppose they do. Hi oh, Don't worry, B, dear. Gran's just playing. <laughs> Slowly does it. Gotcha! And Nash! Yes! Our tiger catcher works! Nash! Nash! Now all we need is bait. Pies? Pizza? Hmm. Dennis! Haven't you heard the news? Or do you need a grown up to explain it to you? Come on! Don't you want to help me catch a tiger, Walter? No, I don't. Turn it. Oh, that's a shame. I could have done with some bait. <laughs> There's a tiger on the loose! And we're gonna catch it! Looks like it's boy against beast. Aww. Oh, sorry, Nasha. It's boy and hound against beast. And what if beast finds boy first and eats him? Ha! 
Nothing can stomach the menace. I'm indigestible. You really think the tiger's around here? Look, Nash has definitely got the scent. Eh, uh, are you sure it's not just me dad's pies he's smelling? <laughs> <laughs> Here, you need to look for paw prints, broken twigs, and animal droppings in open green spaces. Oh, so glad tigers are vegetarian, Paul. Come on, Pyface. Let's go count Paul's eyes again. Good luck, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Let's go catch us a big cat. <laughs> in my park. One foot in that, and the tiger is mine. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> then we wait. <laughs> Nasha! Huh? <gasps> hey, you! Get away from my tiger trap! Ha! Call that a tiger trap? Any tiger worth his stripes would see that a mile away. Hey, don't you know you're talking to Beaver Town's finest animal trapper? And trapping this animal is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll see about that. If anyone's going to catch that tiger, it's me and Nasha. <laughs> Look, son, why don't you and your mutt get yourselves off home and... <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> get off! That's <laughs> finest lump <laughs> steak! They locked you in a cupboard, didn't they? Yeah. No. What? No disasters at all? I honestly haven't heard a peep out of them. And calm was restored to Beano Town today after dramatic events at the zoo. Incredible scenes here as a young brother and sister and an Abyssinian wirehead tripound returned the wild sea lion to its cage. This fearless crew, branded the Tiger Trio, have surely earned their stripes. Denny! An angry mum's the only wild creature we should be afraid of. Run! <laughs> 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 